I'm Ben Bloom, Telegraph Athletics Correspondent, and here are our Tokyo Olympic stars. Katrina Johnson-Thompson was one of those athletes who had incredible potential from a really young age. She, as a teenager, was one of those people who would win everything in England, win everything in Britain from the age of 13, 14, 15, 16. And it became very clear from an early age that this was someone who could be a very, very special senior. At the 2016 Olympics, she perhaps arrived not at her physical best, um, and this time it was her throwing events that let her down. Again, she fell just short of the podium. After that championship, she made a really, really big move and decided to relocate her whole life from Liverpool, which is where she was born and raised, and she still lived just around the corner from her mum. And she moved everything to Montpellier in France because she felt she needed a completely new start under a new French coach, away from the glare and the pressure of Britain. In 2018, things finally clicked. She won a very easy Commonwealth gold medal, and then she went to the European Championships where she faced the Olympic and world champion Nafi Tiam from Belgium and she matched her for large portions of the competition and won silver. Nafi Tiam won gold. That was the day she felt it finally clicked. That was the day that she believed she could challenge this Olympic gold medalist and was worthy of standing on the start line and being talked about in the same breath as the best in the world. Fast forward then to 2019, the theory was that if Tiam competed at her best, she was the Olympic and world champion, she was borderline unbeatable, but that Johnson Thompson stood a very good chance of winning silver if she performed as well as she could do. And then she exceeded all expectations. She not only smashed her own personal best, she broke Jess Ennis Hill's British record, she wiped the floor with Nafi Tiam, and she won what really was one of the greatest British world titles uh, in recent memory. One of the most noticeable things about Johnson Thompson is how open she is in talking about her emotions and how she feels and her potential inadequacies, her, her mental turmoil that all elite athletes go through but most of them hide it a lot of the time whereas Johnson Thompson is uh, admirably open about it all. She talked about having imposter syndrome and feeling like she didn't belong at the highest level. And even after she won the world title in 2019, she admitted she was still the same, the same woman, the same woman with all the doubts and the fears that she's always had. She was just that woman with a world title. Johnson Thompson is someone with immense talent who went through more setbacks than most elite athletes do in their entire career and proved that with resilience, hard work, and sacrifice, you can come out with gold at the end of it.